PCSX is a PlayStation 1 emulator and to get that all you gotta do is uh, go to your add and remove and search for PCSX and you'll see it here and then check it and now you have it once you open it <coughs> it's gonna look like something like this see and then you want to configure it um, go to configurations plugins and you see this menu over here first thing you want to do is um, click on graphics right? and you should see there's something like this but you mostly you want to go uh, here where it says deteriorating you want to set this to game dependent or else it will be the too fast when you when you play your games and that's not what you want to do or you want full screen just check you know and that's all you gotta do in there and then next for the sound the sound you want um, to enable sound and right here it says uh, reverb um, that you want to set it to PlayStation and you want to set the volume loudest if you want but that's all you gotta do in there and the controllers uh, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory if you have a, a real uh, controller all you do is just um, go and configure it and uh, right here where it says uh, ISO image uh, by default it says CD-ROM but if you're using an, uh, uh, an image that you burn or you got it somewhere uh, on, in the store on your computer you use the ISO image reader and uh, that's what it's that's what made me what it is for. And for the BIOS, um, this program does not come with the BIOS for legal reasons because it's copyrighted um, by Sony, I guess. And um, for legal reasons, uh, I cannot tell you where to go get it. <coughs> Minnova.org. Let me see. For legal reasons, you know what I'm saying? I cannot tell you what to search for PSX BIOS. All right. For legal reasons, you cannot. You should not download this. You should not download this one. Huh? For legal reasons, you know, you shouldn't download this torrent. All right. And <coughs> once you have your torrent. Once you have your torrent, um, all you gotta do is uh, ex <coughs> do not extract it, <coughs> and after that, all you gotta do is uh, you know go to that folder, and you should check um, this one. It's the most common one, the 1001.bin, or the other one was uh, this one. Um, so that seven thousand one. Th these two are the most common, and that's all you gotta do. Let's close it off. All right. And now to try the game. Yo, you need the game image too, then ISO or IMG or something like that. That's the only two I tried it out with right now. And then all you do is run CD. And should pop up with this screen and then you just search for your image that's in the home folder and uh, it's in the torrent now and how is it oh I got intelligence cube um I saw here and then okay let's see now it should be running Oh, I got my rem uh, controller set up, so let me try it out. Come on. Going a little faster. Doot, doot, doot. Um, see, it loads, so it was working. My controller is working also. So that's how you get it working. That's all.